people are still talking about Chris Brown at the Grammys. I noticed when I teased that he's a sore loser, a lot of people in the audience, you started nodding, like, uh-huh, you saw that? Well, we're here to dissect it for you, okay. Um, you know, when Frank Ocean won, it was a category, remember it was Frank Ocean, Miguel, and Chris Brown were in the same category. Personally speaking, I thought Miguel should have won, but that's, that's a whole nother topic. Um, anyway, uh, Frank won, and Chris didn't join in the standing ovation. We've got the B-roll, Chris is in the white suit. Let's look together. Uh-huh, see? It, yes. Sore loser. Remember the fight, remember the, uh, the fight in the parking lot? Um, well, I was happy that Frank won over Chris just because that means that Frank won, you know, the, the, anyway, to make Chris matter. <laughs> And, and they say it looks like Adele noticed that, uh, that Chris didn't stand either. Later, she was seen talking to him. And look, by the looks of this picture, she looks like she's talking tough, like a mom. <laughs> and like, he's like, but Adele, <laughs> I didn't mean it. Anyway, Chris Brown and Rihanna, everybody, uh, were seen getting cozy Grammy night. We already talked about that. But Rihanna's friend, Katy Perry, seems to have reportedly um, slipped from her life. Well, here's the thing. According to Perez Hilton, Katie is furious that Rihanna is even back with Chris Brown. And it's ruined their friendship. Just last year, it was Katie and Rihanna who were together at the Grammys. They looked like they wanted to go home together too, right? <laughs> <laughs> Look how they're sitting. But they were at the Grammys together. And at first I thought this was a manufactured friendship because sometimes publicists want uh, celebrities to be friends just because it looks good. But they were seen so much together that, <clears throat> and I finally realized what it is that they do have in common and that is both being pop stars and both understanding a particular way of life. Um, and, and so now that Chris is back with Rihanna, it's just kind of ruined it for Katie. You know, she's like, you know, why, how could you? And then some people look at Katie and say, well, why and how could you? Because she's with John Mayer. But a cheater and a beater are two different things. <laughs> and, and besides, and uh, I'm just saying, like, you know, uh, John, who's now 35 years old, he's known for being a womanizer. Uh, you know, he's admitted that he's a jerk. He dated Jennifer Aniston, he was a jerk after that, remember? He, he dated Jessica Simpson, he was a jerk after that. Although I wouldn't mind it if a guy said my body was a wonderland in bed. That's, remember he said that about her? He said that about Jessica Simpson, but it was still talking out of school, jerky. Um, uh, that was Jennifer Love Hewitt. He dated her too. We forgot to put her on the list. Yeah, hey love. Um, anyway, and he dated Taylor Swift, and of course that didn't end well either, but it seems like he may have uh, changed his spots. He's a changed man. Um, he says that his new relationship with Katy Perry feels like, that's a really good picture of both of them, isn't it? I mean, just John, cause he's just John, a crushed velvet blue suit and that smirky smile. But her and that dress, you look beautiful. The, the makeup, the hair, the dress. So good. But what he says about this relationship with Katy Perry is he says it doesn't feel like a celebrity relationship because they do a lot of regular stuff. And he, he says, yes, he can see himself married someday. He didn't say to her, but he said, but he said someday. And I mean, we know that they do regular stuff and, and she's got a really good glam squad. <laughs> Remember the picture we showed you yesterday of her in Hawaii, just to remind you. Uh, show that picture from, uh. -uh. You clean up really well, Katie. Back to the mint green dress. I wanna show everybody something. You know, this dress right here, it's by Gucci, and it was by far like my favorite, my personal favorite dress for Grammy night. I love the dress. And um, it's really crazy how sometimes you know, one dress on two different body types looks totally different. We found another, a Taiwanese actress who has on this same Gucci dress. Look what it looks like on her. Oh. Two different dresses, right? If I saw it on the Taiwanese girl, I'd be like, ew, random dress. <laughs> Katie, you're doing things to that dress and I see no spank line. You go, girl.